Hey guys, Ace Play here. Welcome back to another Stick War 3 video. Welcome back to Cotton 4K. We got some interesting fellows today. We got Need B and Main Robux 666. Uh, so we got the Glacial Fletching and the Monstrosity. Uh, looks like he's also going for some Ghost Tower stuff. That's pretty interesting. But our man on the left actually has Shadow Wrath going on. And I'm not going to lie, that's a little more interesting to me. The ninjas look super cool. <laughs> Um, it looks like lots of economy going on for both sides. They're not too uh, interested in the middle tower, which understandable, but also you're wrong. You definitely want to get that middle tower ASAP Rocky for that free Mula. And it uh, looks like he made a dead first and then a sword, so the sword's going to beat the dead anyway. Not sure why you even make deads uh, in this game currently, but I'm going to trust that will have a use for later, and we'll make sure to uh, keep track of that when it happens. Uh, meanwhile, you gotta just build up economy to get the Shatter Wrath going. They take quite a bit. 150 crystals are pretty priced for what they're capable of. Uh, he already has that Minor Hustle 1 going, so he's going full eco, and main Robux 666 doesn't care. He's gonna let it happen. He's gonna keep making Sword Wrath and maybe even make a Spiritan. Um, meanwhile, on the left, Shatter Wrath and Miners popping out. You got the Projectile Barrier just in case things get a little hairy, uh, but it looks like that no projectiles will be coming out from the right side anytime soon and he kind of wants to go for giants anyway now the shadow wrath versus giant debate it's kind of hard uh because as you can see shadow wrath get easily donked on uh with the uh stun but they can certainly really fight light units really well the problem is giants aren't exactly light so uh it's a little harder for them to pull things off but as you can see they definitely will win the user control fight with that extended range you can kind of just dodge and weave with this Shadow Wrath and just do a whole lot. Uh, main Robux 666 is going to take a bunch of extra damage if he actually wants to fight. He pulls off the parry uh, last second. Very intense user control action going on here. Main Robux, I don't think he knows about the Shadow Wrath's parry stacks. And I don't blame him. It's a little bit of an obscure fact. A second ninja's coming out. Third one's on the way. Uh, main Robux is actually getting kind of iced right now. And um, if he attacked with that ninja, he would actually pull it off for free. But instead, everyone dies. That was insane. What's going on on the right? Nothing. He has 1,500 gold. You're going for a giant? Uh, no, he actually went for the tower spawn. That makes a little more sense. And he's also going for the monstrosity with the spear ten. He's not going to get the giant quite yet, which is exactly what you should be doing in that situation. But we got the ghost spawn spear ten, just kind of poking stuff very slowly. Spiritons aren't very good at doing a whole lot right now, other than taking damage and dying. Uh, so not following up with that ghost spiritin is going to result in not a whole lot of discomfort for Nibu. Uh, but also there's not really any army to back up the ghost spawn. Our man on the right has not dedicated anything towards economy. He's just making the six sword wrath. So now uh, your giant engine's not really there. You didn't get all the gold. So I don't know how you're going to make giants, but that's okay. Meanwhile, our man on the left has insane economy, and he's planning a ton of ninja shenanigans. He's got three ninjas and three ice arch downs. You're rocking the red balls. Pretty spicy, if I do say so myself. And you can just watch. That ghost tower gets melted. Or the ghost tower spawn unit. And, uh... The Shadow Wrath don't do too well against group battles, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, the slowdown certainly will be helpful. And uh, they are just kind of smacking down the Sword Wrath one by one, which is very lucky for Nibu. If they attacked weird, then uh, the stacks could have been off and a lot of things could have changed. But instead, uh, Robux666 loses everything and Nibu loses nothing. And he also has 1400 Vanna Crystal. Uh, meanwhile, our man on the right has queued about seven things, and he can only make one at a time still, because he's not even using the whole giant monstrosity thing that gives you the whole separate queue thing. Come on, man. Why'd you why'd you even pick that? Uh, damn. Projectile barrier to the statue with the stacks. Uh, these ninjas are just absolutely going to decimate the statue, and it's the projectile barrier is just the icing on the cake. Just like that, Nibu takes the victory over Main Robux 666. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, try not to get caught in 4K.